hundreds of competitors from across the army took to the pool, hoping to help their corps to glory. It's the 27th time the two-day tournament has taken place and featured many of the army's top swimmers and water polo specialists. The Army Medical Services, women led by Captain Kirsty Forbes, enjoyed an excellent start to proceedings with victory in the ladies' water polo final. A goal from Kath Baker proved decisive as the AMS beat the RLC 2-1, much to the delight of their skipper. The team worked really hard today, um, got some excellent results. We've won all of our matches, so a uh, well-deserved win, I think, for the AMS. I guess when it comes to this sort of level, do you get much chance to train as a squad? Um, as a squad, we... In terms of water polo, we don't get to train that much together, to be honest. Um, so this is all a fresh squad today. And how much does, does water polo lend itself to the training that you have to do in your events? It's useful from the short sprinting aspect. So most of our team are actually, well, all of our team are the swimmers. And uh, so we're used to the swimming side of things. And so used to the short sprinting distances, which help with the water polo. Fresh from her exploits in the water polo, Kath Baker backed up her captain's sentiments to win the women's 200-metre breaststroke for the AMS. Despite being drawn in the inside lane, the two-time Inter-Services silver medalist beat a strong field for victory. She then completed a handsome double, taking the honours in the 100 metres breaststroke event. But the girls in the gold caps didn't have it all their own way. A strong finish by Catherine Henderson from the Royal Signals saw her take the 200-metre freestyle title. The young second lieutenant used to compete at national level and believes a Signals swimming training camp just before the tournament helped her to success. We had a training camp last week, um, so that was a mixture of swimming and water polo, and we try and get as many people to that as possible. And your ambitions with the sport, where do you see yourself going with army swimming? Uh, okay, so in 2017 we're going out to New Zealand to compete in the World Masters Championships, so that's pretty great. Um, so yeah, so just basically trying to get back into club swimming now and, and train towards that to make sure we are really competitive when we are competing. According to the established member of the Army squad, the Intercord Championships provide a great opportunity to identify future talent, with regular swimming camps offering would-be teammates a chance to compete against the other two services. Obviously for core level as well, because sometimes you know people just get pushed into this from regiments and um, they, they are a nobody and suddenly become a somebody because they're really good at the sport. It's nice to meet new people and um, it brings... We, we're quite a strong, like close-knit team, especially when it comes to inter-services, because we train for two weeks just before we, we do that competition. So as a team, we're really close-knit and, you know, the support's there and things like that. So that's, and it's really, really good. Meanwhile, the men's water polo competition saw the Remy romp to an 8-1 victory against the Royal Engineers in the final. Skipper Luke Illingworth paid tribute to his team's resolve. We certainly weren't favourites, but I think within the team, we felt that we had a a fighter's chance, we got better as the competition went on, and that's all we had to do. Yeah, from this now, will many of you want to go on and represent the full army squad? We've got three full army players in there, we've got some that are on the fringe, and I certainly hope that they will move to progress. The guys that are already in the army team, I hope they progress further, and yeah, 100%. I mean, that's a great win and a real confidence booster ahead of any more tournaments that you've got coming up. Yeah, definitely, and I think next year we'll, we've got a chance of coming in as uh, favourites rather than dark horses, hopefully. <laughs> One competitor proving hard to beat in the swimming events was James Gibson. The corporal from the Intelligence Corps claimed an impressive four victories with one silver and a bronze to add to his haul. The two-time Army triathlon champion uses his prowess in the pool to help him with his triathlon and says his multi-discipline sports background is an advantage in the water. For me, the swim is the strong part. If I can get the lead on the swim, I can hold on on the bike and, and certainly hold on the run, so it's, it plays into my advantages. And of course, we've got that to look forward to next year. Will you be around for the inter-services next year yeah. or will you be around Army-level triathlon? I hope you at Sandhurst next year. If they let me off, hint, hint, I'd love to go back to the armies and, and race for the army. It's what I love doing. It's a, it's a great selling point for the armed forces. And triathlon is so popular amongst the forces Absolutely. now. Absolutely. It's growing every year on year. Last year we had two heats for the, the armies, which is a fantastic, and the standard's only going up. We've got the inter-service title back last year. Uh, long may it continue for the army. And you use the course down at South Cerny, which is really popular amongst the athletes. Yes, yeah, fantastic weather, nice flat swimming, nice flat bike, which is good for me and a really fast run, so it plays into my strengths. So how much does the swimming arm help you then when it comes to triathlon? Yeah, absolutely loads. Uh, there's some really good swimmers in the triathlon squad at the moment, um, and I know who they are. Some of the faster runners aren't so good at swimming, I think they'd be fair to say. So if I can get a lead on them, it's certainly a psychological edge, 
to leave throughout the race rather than come from behind. Gibson will now concentrate on his officer training at Sandhurst after Christmas, but for the majority of the swimmers, they can now focus on events in next year's racing calendar.